You are about to take a journey into the world of the future. It's time for another two-minute tech tip. My name is Geert-Jan Wielinga. I am a member of the Oracle Developer Tools team. In this two-minute tech tip, we're going to get started with TypeScript in an Oracle Jet application. Check that you are using the Oracle Jet command line interface version 7.2.0 or later. And then when you type ojet help and create, you will find that a new flag has been added. And that flag is TypeScript. That enables us to create our application as always and to provide a template but also to add that new flag, TypeScript. Once you have created your Oracle Jet application, as always, on the command line, simply open it into the editor of your choice. You are very likely to find that the editors you are using to create your Jet applications support TypeScript better than JavaScript. In the cookbook, notice that some of the recipes already have a switch enabling you to move from JavaScript to TypeScript, and as always, you can copy and paste from here. From the cookbook, we copy our import statements, such as KO, so that we can use knockout, we load our switch component, we declare our variable, and we set it to false. On the HTML side, we simply, as always, have our switch component. There's nothing different there. Then, when we look in the web folder, you will notice that in dashboard.js, automatically as we do our editing and whenever we save, transpilation is done. And so now we have a JavaScript file generated by means of TypeScript from our TypeScript file. When we make a change in our TypeScript files, transpilation is automatically done and the watcher process of the OJet tool copies the file into the correct place in the web folder. Finally, make sure to take a look at the Jet and TypeScript page on the Oracle Jet site. Was that a good tip? Nothing short of a miracle. We want your opinion. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.